So lesson 5.1, vectors, focuses on vectors addition and how we calculate uh, the distance of specific vectors. So for example, if I have vector A, I'll call this vector A, and I have vector B in the same direction, how would I add these two vectors? Well, we already know that when we're adding a vector, we uh, you can use a, a method called head to tail method where we connect the head of the vectors to the tail of another vector. So this whole vector would look something like this, called vector AB. Now, for example, if the vector uh, wasn't uh, parallel, so that means that it was something like this, where you have two vectors, vector A, vector B, how would you calculate or how would you add these two vectors? Well. It's the same exact way we do head to tail method and we have to make sure that the vec the new vector that we draw to add to this vector is parallel to the original one see how the line is still parallel to it and this is vector a this is vector b so this is our new vector now say we have two different vectors we have a vector we have a vector going this way and we have a vector going this way and I marched, I marched 20 meters, so this is like how, how long I went uh, east, and then I decided to go north for 40 meters north. Now, what if, what if I wanted to calculate the displacement? How would I calculate this displacement? displacement? We already know the displacement is when we take two points, so two points, and then we simply draw the line from the start of it to the finish. We don't go through any of the distance uh, of the distance we traveled. We just go from straight to the point to the end. So this would be the displacement. Uh, another example of displacement would be if we, for example, have a vector like this, and we have a vector going like that. Uh, the displacement would be from this point, the shortest distance from this point to that point. So this is point A and this would be point B. Now it's important to know that this, this line is called the resultant or R and we want to calculate, in this lesson we focus on calculating the resultant. Now to calculate the resultant uh, there are two ways. One we can use the mathematical rules such as sine, cosine and tangents for trigonometric functions. So or we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, most of the times we use a Pythagorean theorem when we have a right triangle. So I have I have a resultant I have a vector going called a. I go that way for let's say we go sixteen meters, and then uh, I decide that I also so I started here four meters, and then I went to point a and I went to vector a. So this is how I traveled. Now the resultant of this would be would be this, would be this line, because it connects the two points, the shortest path. Now you can notice here that this is a right triangle, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, but instead of c, we put r squared. And this is the resultant formula. So r is going to be equal to r squared is going to be equal to a, which is 16, plus b, which is 4, and r is going to be equal to the radical of 16 squared plus 4 squared. And that is how we calculate the resultants when we have a right triangle. So say we had two vectors, we have vector a, which a is equal to 17 centimeters, and then we had vector b, which is equal to 12 centimeters. This is vector B. And then how do I calculate the resultant? Well, the resultant would be from here to here. This is called R. I want to calculate the resultant. Well, whenever we have two, two, uh, two uh, vectors, and then we have uh, and it's not a right triangle, 
uh, we need to calculate the result in using cosine rule. We can use cosine rule. This rule allows us to calculate the vectors using the angle of cosine. So this angle right here, we have an angle uh, between them. Now, do I take... Now, if I have this whole triangle and the angle isn't given, so it doesn't tell us where the angle is, we have to take the angle between the two vectors. So we have vector B and vector A. We take the angle between them. We can't take this angle. We can't take this angle. We have to take the angle between the two vectors. So what is cosine rule? Cos cosine rule is R squared. It's equal to A squared minus plus B squared minus 2AB cosine theta. This is the formula you'll use. So you can easily put this in the calculator. Uh, of course, the angle is going to be given to you. It's going to be 47 degrees. And use a calculator here. You have R squared. So you do X squared. It's going to be equal to A squared, which is 17, plus B squared, which is 12, minus 2. And then A is 17. And then B is 12. And then cosine. 47. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. And then you press shift solve. Then you get the, the side, which is 12.4. That's so ours is going to be equal to 12.4 centimeters. So to solve cosine rule when you have three sides given, so 15, 10, and 17, uh, there's a simple way, but first of all, we should know which one's the resultant, so the R. So the R is going to be the one facing the theta. So the, uh, so the side opposite to the theta. And now knowing that, we can use cosine rule. We can just simply rearrange the formula. So we can say cosine A is going to be equal to A squared plus B squared minus R squared. And then over to AB. And now uh, when you use a calculator, we're going to find the answer to this. And then we can use the inverse of whatever this is equal to. So x, and then we could use the inverse. So theta is going to be equal to cosine negative 1 of x to find the angle. So let's do it. So when we want to calculate the resultant, we can substitute. So we can say a squared, which is, so we can say this is a, this is b, and this is r. So be r. So we say a squared is going to be equal to 17 squared plus 10 squared minus 15 squared over 2. A is 17 and B is going to be 10. Then we find the answer 0 0.482. And then we simply substitute this in the uh, inverse of the function. So we say cosine that is going to be equal to inverse of cosine. When we ever find an angle, we use the inverse 0 0.482. And then we should get the answer 61.1. And that is going to be equal to uh, that is going to be equal to 61.18 degrees. So Whenever we have a vector on a coordinate plane, like for example here you have a coordinate plane, you have x and y, uh, it's important to note some uh, some things. So for example here, uh, if we want to calculate the resultant, so r, we have to take components. What are components? Components are the components of y, of the y-axis, and the component of the x-axis. So for example, here, the component of the x-axis would be only the x-axis of this vector. So it would be this line. And the component of the y-axis would be only the vector on the y-axis. And using this, we can calculate uh, the we can calculate the y-axis vector and the x-axis vector alone to find the resultant of r. So no, now that we know what components are, let's try to find components. We can find the components of uh, x and y using uh, only the value of the resultant, so r. So how do we do this? So here's what we call the, this is on the y-axis, so it's same as like writing the vector here. 
and it's called a of y um, and it's going to be equal to the side so r multiplied by we remember that in math if you remember in math we took that the y-axis is going to be uh, the sine and the x-axis is going to be the cosine so knowing that this is on the y-axis so we take the sine we take the sine of the angle so the angle has to be between the two vectors so when we take this angle we take this angle here oh uh, sorry we take the angle along the x-axis we always take the angle along the x-axis we don't take this angle we take the angle along the x-axis so sample of theta is equal to 30 then we would put a uh, 30 inside the sine and then that's for our this is for our y component so y component our x component would be almost the same except if you remember it's going to be equal to r but instead of sine it's going to be equal to the cosine of 30 and not the cosine of uh, not the sine of 30 cosine y because it's on the x-axis and the x-axis is cosine and now we can calculate each using calculator we get 8 cosine 30 it's going to give us uh, 6.9 so this side is going to be equal 6.9 this component and then for y it's going to be equal to sine 8 sine 30 so give us 4 so the y component is going to equal to 4 meters. So what if we were given instead the components and we wanted to find the resultant vector? So the resultant vector would look something like this. Going like that. So how would we calculate it? Well, first of all, we can redraw this vector instead of drawing it here. We can draw it here for a more clear more clear and then we can draw our vector like that so here we have our triangle and then if we wanted to find the angle the angle would be on the x-axis so this would be that though now <clears throat> uh, it's important to note that there's three there's two different things we can find find the magnitude and then we find the angle be the angle so to find the magnitude we simply use the Pythagorean theorem, we find the magnitude using uh, y, our, our y squared, our x squared is equal to r squared. This is going to be r. So r squared is equal to r y squared plus r x squared. So r squared, r is going to be equal to six point twenty nine squared plus 29.22.59 squared r is going to be equal to radical equal to 92.8 so r 92.8 so this is going to be the magnitude so for the second uh, part, finding the angle, um, we can, since this is a right triangle, we can use uh, sine, cosine, or tangent to find the angle. And since our angle is opposite over adjacent, we can use tangent, tangent, uh, tangent, theta is going to be equal to 22.59. over 6.29 and if we want to calculate the angle then we'll do theta is going to be equal to the inverse of tangent over 6.29 we can write shift tan 22.59 over 6.29 then we get 
this is the degrees and it's above the x-axis so this is the angle at which it's it's going at and this is the magnitude it's the angle that'll be it for lesson 5.1 vectors if you have any questions or want to ask anything at all you can ask it down below in the comments or in the server and yeah good luck